The Sonoran Desert is home to a number of venomous creatures that can pose problems for people, particularly those living in rural areas. In Arizona, there are 30 species of scorpion and about 8,000 scorpion stings each year. While these stings are painful, most can be managed with basic first aid. But the sting of one species, the Arizona bark scorpion, can be deadly, especially to small children. In Arizona, children who are stung by scorpions will sometimes develop a nerve poisoning syndrome that is really frightening. They have a set of symptoms that comes from all of the different nerves of the body being kind of stuck in the on position simultaneously and all of their muscles lose control so that there may be one twitching and one jerking and a little inhalation and a little exhalation all at the same time. When you put it all together, they don't breathe very well. Dr. Leslie Boyer is an expert on desert creatures. Ten years ago, when she learned that an anti-venom being used in Arizona would no longer be available, she began seeking an alternative. Children who don't get anti-venom need intensive care for sometimes as long as two days. During that time, they get extremely high doses of sedative drugs to make them hold still because the thrashing and jerking that they're doing can be dangerous just by itself. Because this condition is one that comes from interacting with the desert. It's much more likely that people who live far from the center of town will be stung, which means this is a small town disease. It's a rare, potentially life-threatening condition in towns that don't have intensive care units. Dr. Boyer began a study of a promising antivenom produced in Mexico that had never been tested to U.S. standards. One of the study subjects was a little boy from Globe, Arizona, Morgan Bray. Morgan, he was playing after lunch at school, and uh, they have these big cement tunnel things that they were playing in. They were digging in the sand, and he got bit on the finger. And I got a call probably half an hour after he got bit, went and got him. He was crying that it hurt. Next thing I know, he comes to me, and he says, Mom, my legs aren't working. <laughs> I can't walk. So I took him to the hospital, and while we're driving, Morgan says, Mommy, I don't want to die. When Morgan was a baby, his two-year-old brother, Dally, suffered a scorpion sting. He was rushed to the hospital and given the anti-venom that was then available, but he had an allergic reaction to one of the components and did not survive. At the time Morgan was stung, Dr. Boyer's study of the anti-venom from Mexico had advanced to clinical trials that were being conducted in Tucson. So I get to the ER, I carry him in there, and I, I get him signed in, and the guy says, okay, sit down, we'll be with you just shortly, and I said, no, sir, I don't think so. I've already lost one cent to this. I'm not going to do, do it again. Dr. Gonzalez got on the phone immediately to Dr. Boyer, and we were on an air vac within an hour. And Morgan had the full, what they call bag of worms. His tongue was going crazy, his eyes. He was just going nuts, freaked me out. And they gave him the anti-venom. They filmed him for research. And I think I remember asking, is that all he's getting? And he was already coming out of it. And we were home by 10.30, and he played baseball the next day. Honestly, I thought I was going to have to bury another baby. This study has had remarkable results for the children and families who have participated in it. And it has a wide reach for the people of Arizona, especially those in rural communities. Because of it, the life-saving anti-venom is available in hospital emergency departments throughout the state. We've learned that in Arizona, it is possible to do amazing things if you ask for help. We pulled together a team involving 24 hospitals, several hundred doctors, several hundred nurses, several hundred pharmacists and administrators working together as volunteers to make an absolutely unprecedented study network that allows us to make sure that no matter where you live in the Sonoran Desert, antivenom is near your home. This study has also paved the way for future efforts to find safe, effective treatments for the hazards of living in the desert. Because of the antivenom study, a team of trained professionals is in place and prepared to do a type of research that is unique to this region.